Hello again. I have a video showing some of the changes I made to the Exceed RC 50mm uh, MiG-15. Um, I've been working uh, on a lot of different design changes to it to get to fly better. It's spent so much time I grew a new beard. Um, I wasn't impressed with the way it was flying. Um, I think when they designed this and they scaled it down from the original MiG-15, um, there's something called the S factor. Um, I think they're a little off in terms of the wing area. It's a little bit uh, on the low end of the wing area for this plane when you scale it down to the scale that this is. So um, kind of dropped out of the sky whenever you cut power. Um, so I did a couple things to improve that. And uh, what I essentially did is I increased the uh, wing area about uh, 17 percent and how I did that is you can see here I added on the wing tip about two inches by three inches little section of balsa wood right here um, and it's tapered up at an actual 12 degrees um, just balsa wood. I cut the EPO foam and put it 12 degrees up and uh, painted it yellow so you see a little better. Then in addition to that, on the back of the wing right here, um, you can see the aileron, uh, this edge normally goes right here. What I did is I added a half of an inch of balsa wood here and uh, tapered it nicely down. And the combination of that half an inch here uh, plus this two inch section by about three inches is what uh, gave the increase um, about 17 percent. So I added about 18 square inches to the overall uh, wing. Um, the original was 104 square inches so if you had 18 square inches that that's what it's currently at. Um, I uh, test flew it many times and by doing this it really improved the performance it doesn't just fall out of the sky and it actually flares quite nicely now and it kind of looks kind of neat the profile of it if you look at it um, you can see I'm going to show you a little video of it flying by but the uh, profile is unique more like the F-22 the Raptor where it's got the separate section here um, and it worked out great the stability improved in fact now if you throw it um, you throw it on, on an angle it'll correct itself quite nicely um, the stall characteristics are improved. It still stalls like you'd expect for the wing loading it has, but it's uh, improved now, much more controllable. And another thing I did is um, those little stall sections that they put here with the EPO foam, they really don't work because the scale factor is wrong on those. So I removed those and I just added a little balsa strip, about half of an inch, and it really does the same thing. At high angles of attack, the wind will be interrupted and it will cause this center section to stall before the aileron so you still have some control. Another thing I did is you'll notice the side profile of it looks a little different. This windshield uh, bubble was just way too big. I don't know if it was out of scale, but it was very draggy. So I reduced it down to about half. You can see the front profile of it is much smaller and nicer. And I just cut the plastic down and re-glued it smaller um, so that it'd be less drag. Um, I also, the front piece, that plastic that I came with was really very, very fragile. It just kept cracking. So I ground down a PVC section, very, very tiny, only about maybe 3 16 of an inch long. It ended up being a perfect circle. I think it was a 2 inch PVC. Um, and that's what's in the front now, which is very strong. And, and all of these changes that I've made only added about an ounce, an ounce and a quarter of weight, um, which is nothing considering that I increased the uh, wing area of the plane. So, you know, if you want to have the mid way it is, um, it flies okay, but I wasn't too impressed. With these changes, now this flies really nice. Um, and it's, and uh, part of the problem is the original MiG-15 really wasn't a really good flying airplane. It was one of the original jets. Um, so I wanted to improve its flight performance. So these are the changes I've made. So 
If you mo feel motivated to do these changes, look at my other video. I talk about the other changes I've made to it. So uh, this is the Exceed RC 50 millimeter, almost ready to fly with a lot of modifications. And uh, it really flies great now with these uh, changes I've made to it. Thanks for watching.